And President Biden is heading to a Philadelphia suburb as the White House continues what it's calling the Help Is Here Tour. It touts the benefits of the American Rescue Plan, which was signed into law last week. CBS 4 Skylar Henry has more details from the White House. President Biden is hitting the road to tout his American rescue plan and the benefits small businesses can receive, especially those that missed out during the last round of relief. Mainstream businesses from hardware stores to beauty salons that needed the help most were left behind. 400,000 are now gone. We will not let that happen this time. This is all part of a six-state swing for the president, vice president, and their spouses to sell the plan to the American public. It's not selling it. It's literally letting people know their rights, right? It's, it's kind of like you, um, you buy a product, you've already been sold on the product, but you need some directions on the box usually, <laughs> right? The Republican National Committee is launching a counter-messaging campaign today, spreading the message that the money in the bill isn't targeted to fight the pandemic. Reports from California suggest some local governments may consider using some of the massive bailouts that Democrats sent them on bonuses. The Biden administration is also pressing states to make vaccinations available for all adults by May 1st. Today, Mississippi becomes the second state to expand their vaccine eligibility to those ages 16 and older. Great for the Mississippi so we can get back to some kind of normalcy. Uh, we all need it. Dr. Anthony Fauci says so far there have been a few allergic reactions to the vaccine. Only about four cases out of every one million shots. There does not appear to be anything that is what we call a red flag. Several European countries have suspended use of the AstraZeneca vaccine over concerns about blood clots. The British drug maker says a review of 17 million people in the UK and Europe who have received the vaccine found less than 40 developed blood clots, which they say is lower than what you'd expect to find in the general population. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And AstraZeneca says it's hoping to submit its vaccine for FDA approval in April. It already has 300 million doses ready to roll out.